I am Facundo, a humble peasant. Many times, people mocked me, but despite it all, I managed to overcome numerous adversities through hard work. Today, I come to share my story. Imagine a life where scarcity is the constant struggle every day. Working tirelessly for a landowner and receiving minimal payments. Have you ever wondered how a couple with modest possessions and a handful of inherited animals achieved the prosperity that existed only in their dreams? Do you want to know how? Join us on this journey of faith, courage, and transformation. The life of peasants is not easy, but their burning desire for their own land, animals, crops, and prosperity never fades. Instead of lamenting, they work hard day by day tirelessly for a boss or a local landowner, receiving meager payments and money or, in most cases, in exchange for food and shelter, often enduring mistreatment. When they are dismissed, they are left only with their modest possessions and the wealth of a vast amount of knowledge inherited from their parents and grandparents. Don't forget to follow us on stories and events. Thank you. In the small town where I lived, I, Don Facundo, a peasant with a humble heart and a believer in God, shared my life with my beloved Rosalia. Despite the envy of some neighbors, we chose to share what little we had with those in need in our dear town. Life was not easy for us. We worked tirelessly for a local landowner, receiving meager payments in barley or wheat. Despite our scarcity, we never lost faith and always thanked God before every meal and at the end of each exhausting day. My dream, burning deep within me, went beyond the limitations imposed by our condition. I longed for land, livestock, and prosperity. But not only that, I wanted to build something bigger, something that challenged the expectations of those around us. The Knights became allies to build pens that defied the logic of our neighbors. Laughter and mockery only strengthened us. Every criticism was another brick in the construction of our small citadel, erected with terror and joy. As the pens expanded, so did the hostility of our neighbors. Even our own parents, disappointed, distanced themselves, assuming that we had lost our minds. But that didn't stop us. We kept our faith, even when we were fired from the hacienda where we worked. The true test came one night when strangers sent by the father appeared in search of refuge. The dinner we prepared in our almost empty kitchen was miraculously delicious, thanks to a stove that seemed to light itself. We felt blessed and ready to face whatever tomorrow held. At dawn, the surprise was even greater. The pens were filled with cattle, llamas, alpacas, and sheep. Even a couple of pigs roamed outside. Rosalia and I, now owners of land we never imagined, thanked God for every unexpected blessing. Over time, our prosperity reflected not only in our material possessions but also in our selfless generosity. The shepherds sent by the late father became loyal collaborators, and the lands granted by the mountain elder transformed into a thriving home for our flock. Despite persistent envy, our home became a welcoming beacon. Humiliations turned into anecdotes, and mockery into murmurs of astonishment at the unexpected success of our story. We learned to forgive, to share, and to be grateful for every unexpected twist of fate. My story, our story, became a living example of how faith, patience, and kindness can transform lives. We not only left an indelible mark on our town but also issued a call to action for those who heard our story. So, my dear Rosalia and I prove that, with faith, courage, and a grateful heart, dreams can come true in ways that surpass any expectation. Our life became a story of hope, overcoming, and generosity, reminding us that sometimes the greatest rewards are found at the end of less traveled paths. As the days passed, our life of abundance became a living testimony. As our flock grew, so did our compassion for others. We became pillars of the community, extending our generous hand to the elderly and those in greatest need. Despite our wealth, we never forgot the nights of hunger or the mocking laughter of our neighbors. Our home became a refuge not only for us but for those who came seeking help. The shepherds sent by the Father integrated as a crucial part of our extended family, and the lands granted by the mountain elder became a symbol of gratitude and responsibility. However, envy persisted in the hearts of some resentful neighbors. While hurting the livestock on our newly acquired lands, a confrontation with the unbelievers became inevitable. But instead of responding with bitterness, we decided to surprise them by offering a place at our table and in our home. 
My compassionate attitude not only calmed the neighbor's anger but also left them reflecting on their own actions. Past wounds transformed into opportunities for reconciliation, and the wealth we shared was not only in our lands and animals but in the forgiveness and understanding we offered. The story of Rosalia and me transcended the borders of the town. We became living examples of how faith, patience, and kindness can transform lives. Our narrative not only left an indelible mark on the community but also issued a call to action for those who heard our story. Thus, my dear Rosalia and I prove that, with faith, courage, and a grateful heart, dreams can come true in ways that surpass any expectation. Our life became a story of hope, overcoming, and generosity, reminding us that sometimes the greatest rewards are found at the end of less traveled paths. And so, in this ongoing chapter of our lives, we learned that sharing the wealth of the heart is the true key to prosperity. In the journey of Don Facundo and Rosalia, we see a powerful reminder that dreams don't always unfold as we imagine. Often, the path to blessing is filled with unexpected turns and challenges that divert us from our planned course. However, if we maintain faith, courage, and a willingness to adapt, we can transform those obstacles into opportunities to grow and achieve goals even more extraordinary than we could have conceived. This story highlights the importance of maintaining gratitude in difficult times, reminding us that even in scarcity, there is room for generosity and kindness. Don Facundo and Rosalia not only overcame adversities but also thrived, all while not losing their humanity or compassion for others. Furthermore, the story teaches us that patience and persistence are virtues that, over time, can bear fruit. Although the path was filled with challenges and mockery, the couple persevered, building both literally and metaphorically a future that exceeded their initial dreams. Ultimately, the wealth of Don Facundo and Rosalia was not measured only in land and livestock but in their ability to forgive, share, and show kindness despite adversity. Their story is a call to recognize opportunities that arise amid difficulties and a reminder that the true treasure lies in human relationships and how we use our blessings to positively impact others. Thus, the final reflection invites us to contemplate our own journeys, embrace uncertainty with hope, and remember that sometimes the most extraordinary blessings come disguised as unexpected challenges. Don't forget to follow us on stories and events. Thank you.